Alright, hello there everyone, welcome to this video, in this video I'm describing. So, there's been this skerfuffle, both parties use it, about classified evidence and the White House. So, for the longest time, I thought that either Trump or Biden somehow had some kind of top secret battle plans or DOD department secret files that they just had in a cardboard box inside their homes. That's not the case. That is sensational media bullshit. And what it is is this. It's as simple as this. When a president is in the White House, anything that's been in the White House is deemed technically like top secret, right? So, like, let's take Trump, for example. When they raided Mar-a-Lago and took out the, 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 the boxes of files and they had the FBI strutting around like they really had found some shit, you know, with boxes. Yeah, we got corrupt Trump. Yeah, right? It is literally nothing. Because anything that's been inside the fucking White House is deemed top secret, like confidential, like state secret security, right? It, the thing they took out of Trump's house were things like notes, knickknacks. I think they even took some bobbleheads that were in his office, for God's sakes. So, if a bobblehead can be deemed like top secret national security and then raid Trump's house for it, and the same thing with Biden, okay? So, he had like piles of files and stuff in his garage, and now Fox News is like, oh my god, it's top secret evidence. Oh, it's criminal. It's criminal. Both sides have done it. <laughs> and, and the thing that gets me is both sides legitimately think that there's going to be a trial and case against the president of the United States over something so banal as having just random files and folders inside your garage or notes. Now, sure, can some of these actually be like state security and damning if someone came across the wrong hands? Sure. Uh, but then again, the same people who are bent out of shape over the... The, the Trump handling top secrets, you know, stuff, and, oh, uh, they raided mar a <laughs> Are the same ones that trust a, a senile, pants-shitting old man with a nuclear football. <laughs> Does anyone else find that funny? Like, th this guy can't even complete a speech without having mush mouth. But, of course, in this failing 21st century technocratic Rome in which we live in, uh, rules for thee, but not for me. So, uh, let's say you go to the White House and you take a piece of paper. You take a spare blank sheet of paper, say off like a desk somewhere, and they bust you and they see you do that. That's like big federal time. Then you're being charged with like espionage and trying to steal top secret information, even though it's just a blank sheet of fucking paper. And you'll probably be sitting in federal prison for the rest of your life. But, of course, if you haven't caught on by now, there's rules for the top elite, Biden, Trump, and everyone else. They're not held to the law because in this weird, screwed up, governments haven't changed since the 14th century. We still have kings, emperors, and lords. The only thing that's different is it's under an illusion of democratic republics. There is no difference between the government, the United States... And the government of, of Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin. It's the same shit. It's the same turd with a different, um, I don't know, a garnish? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a turd with a different garnish. Only uh, one is wrapped in turd, like gold, and the other one is just a flat out turd with sprinkles, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's all, so all this skerfuffle is just bullshit. Uh, no one's hiding secret military government, like, <laughs> military plans or, like, uh, battlefield maneuvers in the Middle East. No, it's, they're literally just junk notes, knickknacks, uh, books, notepads, pens, um, and, like, random refuse that was in the White House that, because it was in the White House is deemed top secret national security crap. And when you're seeing all this crap, whether it's Fox News or CNN talk about it, it's all bullshit. Because in reality, we all know that no, nothing's going to be done against the ruling class. And that's Trump and Biden and all that. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big nothing burger. Um, no one's, one's going to be tried for anything, especially the president's son or presidents. Okay, this is how the system works.
the rules, laws, and punishments only for us, the feudal serfs. And again, nothing's changed since the medieval era. Can you shake hands with a politician? Can you even meet a fucking politician? Hmm? You can't, can you? You can't even arrange me to say, hello, hey, thanks for, you know, doing a good job. You can't even do that. So, again, there's no difference at all between the United States, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin's government. It's the same shit. Stop, stop thinking that the United States is this morally righteous democratic republic. It's, 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 it's all lies. It's matrix bullshit. Anyways, now you know. Alrighty, it's the end card, which means there's some shit over here, shit over here, shit up here, and shit in the description down below. Um, basically, I want to do some gambling and eat some burgers. Um, so if you want to find that, that'd be cool. Uh, if not, hey, thanks for watching anyway. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment on your way out, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.